hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we will see how to uninstall or remove scala from your mac os so let's just start so first we need to open our terminal okay i'm just going to uh, expand it a bit and just typing a scala command to see which specific scala i have installed in my mac os so yeah i have installed the scala in my mac os now i just need to remove it so first we will be opening the z profile in our mac so using the command nano dot z profile okay i can see uh, scala configuration has been uh, set up in this specific z profile now we need to remove this so let's just open a new terminal also and what we need to do is we just need to go to this directly explicitly i'm just copying this directory path and we'll go to this specific folder so i'm going to cd users and okay let me just type up the complete path okay so uh, how uh, just the shortcut is just i have written the users and i'm just pressing tab after each slash so you can get the exact name application on the shared one it's just support okay support okay yeah let me just again okay. it's support okay the support is like okay yeah okay so we are inside the application support i am just going to search for the corsair specific folder okay i okay so we have the corsair folder so we just need to remove this using the command rm space hyphen r and we are just going to type this folder and press enter now i'm just again going to verify okay i can see the folder has been removed so using this way we can remove the folder now we need to remove this configuration so we need to uh, press shift okay i i for the editing and just going to remove this complete path i using the shift i you can enable the editing okay so we have removed the configuration path now we just need to close the uh, z profile file that we have opened so for that we need to uh, press ctrl x and it will close now to save those changes and to verify we just need to write source space z profile and let's just check it again using the same command okay so we can see scala has been successfully uninstalled and removed from our back os so that's all for today thank you guys if you have any doubt or query uh, do comment and i will be happy to help on any other tech related topic thank you